no way he's going to get the jump on maybe. As they start to pressure the pull a little bit here. Excel getting aggressive. Giving DDC the old zombie claw. Now throws out the decay. Continues to go in. He's in pretty far. He's only level one. The charge comes through. They're going to jump on this. Pounce and look for the quick grab. And it will be the first blood. A tune unable to assist. No way he could have done anything. So LGD. Oh, he wanted that one. Instead, he's going to blow up the hell out of that creep. Well, meanwhile, there is a charge up top. And... They are going to find the kill here, bringing down a tune on the Huskar. Spirit Breaker causing a lot of trouble, maybe. Jump onto maybe, they get the lift off to double damage rune, and they will pop, maybe. So, the, the to get caught off, he's separated from the team, he suddenly realizes I'm too far away, and he'll blink across the river. MMY chase here with the Iron Shell, Tombstone gets dropped, and they back off. Suddenly, the chase becomes the chaser. Your Requiem being attempted, but there is going to be a, a quick stun on the baby. Now they jump forward. They've isolated the Shadow Fiend. Unknown gets the jump here in the fight, and now they jump forward on RTK. Looking to blast down the darks here. There's the grave. No TP. RTK immolating the Burning Spear as he tries to turn and take down Z-Tuck with him. Not going to happen. Unknown find two. Sloppy play here from LGD. Let's see if they get any more. Silar, Doppelganger, Kataro on the hunt, has the trap available, drops it, and Silar just going to TP away. So, good calm instincts there, but they give up. Eyes, but who's going to go in first? Coming from behind is Greedy. LGD really starting to clump up here. Who gets that jump? They charge onto the TA, trying to dodge away and survive for now. The Requiem gets deployed. There's the wall from behind. Tombstone dropped in the midst of the chaos. Kataro trying to go to work on Silar, but he's not able to find the real go. The TA is going to go down. Beautiful fight this time from LGD as they meant to bring down three. They haven't lost a single one. A tune with the armlet toggle, but pursued to the ends of the earth. He ducks his way back save me somebody oh, help and eventually geez. there is no help in sight really close though and Siler's not actually there see talk someone in the neighborhood not able to break it the charge goes in all the way into the bottom lane a tune will get stunned off the bat has the armlet available is gonna get the heal off and may even look to turn backup is coming greedy's about to arrive they cancel the nether strike jumping back but Z-Tuck's there quick on the follow-up to try and turn this one around the blade nails already worn off looks like they should get MMY this isn't gonna be allowed to TP out easily here as it's pulling down and jumping forward is the Huskar, they will get the Spirit Breaker off the bat, but coming from behind is the Army of Illusion. Silar starting to really go to work. The BKB on Greedy already committed the call down as well. And now coming the Requiem. Almost enough to kill if RTK is the Gyro. They do manage to bring down the PL on the backside of the fight, though. Great teamwork here from Unknown. That's a big grab. The Spirit Breaker is one thing, but the PL. Uh, LGD is a better choice. They could try to swing around bottom, but then that would take a while. Dire team still has their glyph available. Radiant team also going to pop theirs. Are we about to see a base race? There's not too many ways to cancel TPs. RTK is going to use what he has to blink vacuum off the bat. While well, meanwhile, maybe and Tyler are chunking down that top lane. Katara working on the melee rex. Both teams content to trade. But if they try to back down, MMY could be the savior for this team and cancel a lot. It's LGD TPing home, and they're going to look to engage a tune backing off. They've managed to isolate Kataro. He's still got the Aegis here. He's going to need a little help, though. For now hiding, where's the vision? Where's the detection of swarm of illusions descends on him? Oh, they might lose him twice now. It's gonna be real tricky getting up here. Yeah, there's no escape. My God, he exploded. Then another back and chasing forward. A massacre erupting over on the dire tier will end the South American dream. Let's see if Unknown can hold on. TA buyback up in 10 seconds, but by the time she's able to rejoin the fight, looks like the Rax may have fallen. The cooldown will clear out those PL illusions, so maybe runs in. A few more auto techs will finish off the tower, but now the dunk on the Silar. Didn't have a way to dodge away from it. He's dropping quickly to this level of fire damage, and he is going to be forced back as Greedy engages too. In! Kataro will leap. He tries to get the kill, and maybe can't quite do it yet. He's burning as well. Another dunk! Zeez goes a tune. He finds one. He explodes in a cloud of dazzle heal damage. As Silar lifts away, he's burning. Z-Tuck wants him to surge forward. He gets the lift. He's going to zap him to death. Oh, a swag play from the support. He's really been the star of the show here for Unknown. RTK in the trees. Oh, just blinking out. Able to retreat, but they need even more, it feels. DDC on the run, too. Trap getting dropped. Can they pursue? Blink forward. They've got a lift in four seconds. He is going to drop the weave. Seems like they've cornered him. And this could be dead dazzle next on the menu. And while this is happening in the mid lane, the Darkseer is being pursued a little bit by Green past the ward. Maybe they didn't expect the full on charge. The nether strike. No, it's interrupted by a lift again. The beautiful plays from Z-Tuck. Now the Glimmer game. Where is the damn detection for this Rubik? They simply don't have it still. A tune being focused on the backside of the fight. He got off the BKB. He's pretty tanky. Armless has He hangs on for ages. But they don't have a whole lot of backup so in the end they are going to lose him the ta also gets picked off 
They traded this for Silar though. Three now dead is the Undying of Excel will also fall. Now the charge forward under Greedy, locking him down. They may have to use that TA buyback to just to hold the line. There's the lift on MMY, dropping him down towards Greedy, who simply doesn't have much in the way of damage. And the buyback comes out now. Requiem gets deployed. TA's TP'd in. A big leap to the side for Kataro. He's committed heavily. He's got to get something out of this fight. Jumping onto DDC, fairly tanky, courtesy of the Solar Crest. But Kataro does have the MKB, the missile. Moving forward, Rubik looking to hunt. They have to get more. They're chasing, they're thinking. Surge, but RTK's the man being hunted by the missile. As DDC cowers in the trees and Kataro now suddenly finds himself very far out on his own. Trees do have it and they feel like they have to get this Roche after that Kataro buyback, but he gets caught in the pit. He's almost in still, he's dead, he's killed by Roche. Dead for 90 and so here may end the dream of Unknown unless the rest of the team can do the heavy lifting but a tune melt and a sea of PL Spears. They've lost all their carries, they're about to lose the zombie. Excel, possibly the last to fall. The tombstone up on the high ground now, he'll TP home, but this may be How the did end. How did get vision for that? And meanwhile, creeps are pushing in. Was it just like Observer War that barely saw him? I'm so surprised he was able to get that charge off, and TA certainly did not expect that. A bit of a deflating wave for the dream to die, but you it's called it. pretty much what we're left to here. TA just mincemeat for Silar. And LGD taking care of business now in the lower bracket. Didn't want to be here this early. But they'll get one step closer, bringing down the melee racks, officially getting the Mega Creeps. The last moments for the first ever South American team are upon us, and they have been defeated. LGD, they show the young upstarts just what it takes to stay alive here at a big event. Unknown go home, but hopefully they've learned something along the way. I mean, the TA actually just kind of gave them an easy route. It's like, hey, I have no PKB. Focus me. Focus, <laughs> Focus me. I have all the damage. I'm really <laughs> squishy. I also have no buyback. Please. <laughs> Don't come at me. Well, they, they ended their game in true little, little Hardy style here. Still grab some branches, and we see LGD exiting the booth. They move on. They take the series 2-0. It was a good run by Unknown. Unknown. You got to give it up for, for them. They, they had a hell of a showing.